Weather 8 for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Welcome back everyone 545 on this Thursday morning. We're off to a warm start to be honest with you. Average start for this time of the year in the mid 30s. We're, we're in the upper 40s right now and a few places still in the 50s like Clinton at 54, Joplin at 56, Monette at 50 right now. We do have strong winds whipping around out there. I woke up at 3 a.m. or a little before and I could hear the winds howling already. Wind advisory for our far western counties that'll go until tomorrow morning. Winds are strong right now out of the south up to 28 mile per hour winds in Springfield, 41 mile per hour winds in Joplin. So stronger out to the west, hence why the advisory is needed. As we progress throughout the day, winds will stay out of the south till about, I'd say, 5 p.m. And then we're going to see a shift with winds in from the north, bringing that colder air in as that cold front moves through. Now, right now, we do have some moisture starting to stream in from the south. Springfield's down to Monette to Branson, starting to see that rain. We will see scattered showers throughout the morning hours, and then things start to change just a little bit as we progress throughout this afternoon. The chance of rain is going to be more abundant this afternoon and then about 5 p.m. we're going to see a line of showers as that cold front approaches that's going to push through. There is a threat for severe weather. It's a pretty low end threat. The best chance is going to be for our southwestern uh, counties and then really that chance stays more to the south of our area. So if you're moving into like southern Arkansas, that's where we're looking at. Now notice how at 5 p.m. Emporia, Kansas is starting to see snow. Could we see snow flying in the Ozarks tonight? Yes, we could. <laughs> I think a little bit of snow for our northern counties will be a possibility. Models are kind of all over the place on this, but a light dusting could be a possibility. So don't be too surprised if you wake up tomorrow and see some white stuff should not cause any problems. That cold air is going to wrap, wrap around with that moisture. We talked about that severe weather threat, like I said, staying well to our south. I'd say a line from about Joplin to Harrison could see the strongest of those storms as they push through. My mic pack just fell off. Can you still hear me? We're good. Okay. <laughs> I've never had that happen. <laughs> For today, temperatures right around 60 degrees. South winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour. For tonight, northwest winds. So those winds shift tonight. We're going to be about 26 degrees overnight. So it is going to be a chilly one. And then as we progress through tomorrow, St. Patty's Day, wear your green. We are going to see very cold temperatures. So we're going to see Temperatures right around 43 degrees at 3 p.m. It's going to be chilly. That seven day forecast we are looking at 45 for Friday, 36 for a high on Saturday. And I worry about my daffodils as temperatures drop to 17 degrees Saturday night into Sunday. We'll warm back into the 60s by Wednesday. All right, Natalie, thank you. Let's check.